Hi, so I'm going to go through each and every bio screen on this motherboard. So the first thing you notice as I, I did pause the boot up here, it does identify the AMD FX 6300 6 core correctly. And um, I do have 8 gigs of RAM there and you'll see it's now detecting the hard drives. So I am going to enter the BIOS right now. And I do want to make a comment about the SATA drives. So let, let me do that first. Is um, You'll notice here there's uh, three, four channels. Uh, this first one here is actually the IDE. So this motherboard, even though it's pretty advanced for a 6-core CPU, actually has a IDE connector. I don't know why it would, but it does. And um, the comment I want to make about these channels is uh, I don't know if this is just the terminology they have here, but it does have the master slave, master slave, and master slave. And one, two, and three, these are all the SATA connectors. And what was a little bit odd about it is um, this channel one master is actually the SATA. Um, let, uh, actually, let me check on the motherboard. It's actually the SATA. Yeah, so, so that was actually the SATA 4 connection. So this is the SATA 4 connection. This is the SATA 5 connection. So the, the first drive is actually uh, not numerically consistent with what's on the motherboard. So this is the SATA 4, this is the SATA 5, and this, I believe, uh, let me check again on the motherboard. So this here is SATA 1, and this last drive is SATA 0. So uh, more or less it's backwards, but it's actually a little bit more confusing than that. So I assume that this second channel slave is actually uh, SATA, uh, let me check, is actually SATA 3, and this slave here is actually SATA 2. So, um, just to summarize, this here was SATA 4 for the master. Uh, this here is SATA 1, and this is SATA 0. Um, so that, that is what I, that is the comment I want to make about these drives, uh, as far as it not being consistently ordered, uh, and, and the proper channels as it is on the uh, motherboard, numerically at least. So let me go out of this and go through each one of these screens. So I didn't see anywhere where it actually identifies my CPU. Uh, other than on the boot up screen where you saw it, it identified my AMD FX 6300. Um, so let me just go through and you'll see some of the choices here. And I do want to go through sort of every choice so you know what you're getting here. And this motherboard does have a DVI and an HDMI connection. And, and here's the clock. So, so I do have everything here as auto, but you, you could see and again, I'm, I'm not endorsing any of these uh, changes for overclocking. I'm, I'm just showing you what's available here. The North Bridge frequency. And core boosted performance. It's enabled. Here's um, another multiplier. And some people have commented that they, they've actually overclocked this. Um, in my case, I'm, I'm not a very big fan of overclocking, uh, simply because um, I, I like stability over speed. So once again, here's uh, other choices. And more choices. And you'll see there's more choices here. And you could 
do a ma uh, set the clock manually on the RAM. And here's a little bit more detail into the memory. So, you, so you'll see here, I, I actually have 8 gigs of memory. Though, once again, it doesn't show that. And once, once again, these are mislabeled, where I put the stick of RAM in the DIMM slot 1, which was identified on the motherboard as DIMM slot 1, but it's actually, looks like it, it considers it DIMM slot 4. So just be aware of that. And here's the voltage. And let me go, here's your standard BIOS setting, which, which more or less is for the hard drives. Your advanced BIOS, and you see this virtualization here. And C1E support, not sure what that is. But if you know what it is, uh, good for you. Um, load line. Again, not sure what that is. Sure. Uh, so here's the boot priority. So I could actually set these. And on channel 2 is my bootable drive. So that's why it has it labeled as uh, the first boot option. So here's all of the boot options. And let me get out of this. Your integrated peripherals. Uh, seems pretty standard. Your power management. Your plug and play. PC health status. Enable some of the detections for the fan temperatures and the CPU temperatures, I mean. And that's really it. Uh, so that, that's uh, the end-to-end -end look at the BIOS for this motherboard. And thank you for watching. Let me actually, let, let me show you the boot. Exit without saving. And there you go, that, that is the boot screen. And that's really it. Uh, thank you for watching and hope this helps you.